Now, Kia, to me, the last 10 years or so, completely transformed their design language. And this is the 2023 Kia K5. This is the EX version. We're gonna have a look at this today. Costs just over $30,000 for this beautiful car, sedan. So what we're gonna do in this video is have a look at the front end, the side, the rear, the interior, and then we're gonna take this for a drive. And as always, if you're interested in this, make sure you go visit Foundation Kia here in Denver. I'm gonna link that down in the description. Let's have a look at some of the basic spec of the 2023 Kia K5. You have a 1.6 liter turbo inline four, putting out 180 horsepower, 195 pound-feet of torque. This is connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission you have front wheel drive and zero to 60 takes about 7.4 seconds fuel economy sits at 25 city 38 highway and the price for this is $31,500 starting with the front end design and there is a lot going on here so I don't know exactly where to, where, where to start but every time I see a new Kia the first thing you know what you need to do you need to find the tiger nose here and it's pretty easy in this case you can see the line is going down from the hood creating this little indent in the top part of the hood and then you have the lower section in this bumper going in in the same line right here and this we have two nostrils one here one on the other side creating that tiger nose design that kia is so famous for these days these grille patterns here very cool to see where the designers took inspiration from when it comes to this specific pattern they looked at sharks and the and the skin of sharks having these flakes in the skin and they want to create something like that in this grill and i think it looks absolutely fantastic another very cool detail on the front end of the k5 have a look at this squiggliness that we have going on with the daytime run lights definitely creates a unique identity for kia and i've said this so many times before if you are studying car design right now and you want to go to a country where they are still having a lot of fun not being too serious with their designs go to south korea because we have hyundai we have kia and we have all genesis as well creating these super cool designs so this right here was inspired by the ekg heartbeat curve so that's where you get this curvature from and i think it suits the front end because it stretches into the corner here and creates a nice def defined corner of the front end before it goes in to the front end design you also have the full led headlights in here and further down we do have functional air curtains on the side well done kia not making this into something fake now looking at this front end from a straight front view that you're looking at it from now i think kia has uh, succeeded they've made it you clearly have a strong definition of what this is this is nothing else but a kia with a tiger nose you do have some styling features in the lower section a fully functional lower intake as well and overall this just look it came out a couple of years ago but i still think the k5 looks super chiseled and modern in its design coming around to the side view of the kia k5 2023 model year i'm trying to find a distinct shoulder line in this design but i can't seem to find it we do have one line that cuts down here and then you have a smoother line for where you would expect a sharp shoulder line to go there's nothing wrong with having it like this because i think it creates a very uni unique identity in the side view of the k5 as well and this line then dips down fades right before the rear axle of this car and then comes back in this section over here into the taillight so it has this dip to it and creates a pretty unique feeling or vibe for the shoulder line of the k5 i'm pretty sure kia could have made this into a hatchback because look at the design of this thing it feels more like a hatchback or a sportback audi a5 sportback design than it does a sedan but it is in fact a sedan because the trunk is separated from the glass up here but you see a natural cut line for where you would put it if you want to turn it into a hatch it feels almost more natural that this would be a hatch but i'm glad he stuck with the sedan form Talking about these wheels here, I like the design of the wheels. They look fantastic and thank you Kia for not only slapping black wheels onto your cars. This is a 235 wide tire with 18 inch wheels all around. And I like the uh, silver accents that we have here. We have some gunmetal in the middle and then we have a little lighter silver on the faces of the spokes. Now, before we jump in to the uh, and look at the rear end of the K5, we have to talk about the this uh, trend that Kia is doing right now by putting some sort of chrome trim in this area of pretty much every single car that they have. If you look at a new Kia, 
try to find this trim or chrome but most times you have this chrome piece being thicker in in the in the c and d pillar area and we have the same thing going here this goes all the way around the on the onto the trunk back here i'm not sure what i how i feel about this line cutting into the trunk back here but again it creates for a pretty unique uh, design for the k5 so coming around to the rear end design of the k5 and this is uh it doesn't get really tricky here but there are a couple things that i would like to play around with and that has to do with these tail lights i do like the design of this uh, the internal parts because we have this line and then it kind of breaks up and becomes shorter and shorter the closer we get to the center points you also have the camera rear camera mounted right there pretty nicely integrated in the overall design there's a lot of horizontal lines going here we have this line up top of course the light bar in the middle you have this line as well as this and then further down we have another horizontal line overall i think it's a pretty good looking rear end i do wish that these indicator lights were leds but come on this is a thirty thousand dollar sedan what do you expect you can't have everything for that price and for that price again i think this is just a fantastic deal moving further down on the kia k5 you do have exhaust here or wait a second these are actually fake exhaust here so don't do that kia put some proper exhaust right here open this up just have a pipe in there it doesn't matter if it's this small but just open it up and don't try to hide the exhaust by having it coming out probably on one side you also have a pretty aggressive diffuser for this type of vehicle which of course it doesn't need but it adds to the overall styling of the rear end of the sides here of the bumper we do have some strange looking graphics with this fin here not sure why this is here if it's some sort of manufacturing thing that they just had to put something on here but it looks pretty weird to have that on there but what it does is if you only look at this section of the car you're instantly gonna know that this is a kia k5 all right it's time for that straight rear view redesign time right now so i'm not sure how well this is gonna pop up on camera because this is a black car you can't really tell where all the lines and creases go in this car but i'm going to do my best to show you what i want to change in the ha in the taillights of this car you see how smooth they are they, they are very organic the outline for the leds compare that to what's going on in the front end with the super chiseled heartbeat ekg led and i want to have some sort of feeling like we have in the front in the back i'm not entirely sure at this moment how that's gonna turn out but i'm gonna figure that out once i jump into photoshop and check this out Welcome to the interior of the Kia K5, the EX trim 2023 model. And it is extremely toasty in here. So I'm gonna fire this up and blast the AC, which is super easy to do because you have all the buttons and dials for it to quickly adjust whatever it is you need to do. So well done Kia. Sometimes the cheaper option is a lot more user-friendly than an expensive software we have to go in and change all that stuff and there are some features in here that uh, for thirty thousand dollars this is why i'm saying this is such a good deal we're gonna have a look at all the features in here in just a minute talking about the gauge cluster and the integration of what's uh, going on up top on the dash i kind of like the integration here there's nothing wrong with this the uh, infotainment screen is a 10.2 10.25 inch infotainment screen sitting right here very easy to use and super responsive as well you have the map you have the navigation you have whatever you want apple carplay android auto you can connect that in here you have the volume button up here at the top corner pretty interesting location for the volume button to have it up there but i guess it's very easy when you're driving along and then you know change uh, adjust the volume as you go along before we jump in and continue here in the infotainment screen let's just talk quickly about the gauge cluster here it lo might look to some that this is a gauge cluster that came from uh, 10 15 years ago it kind of does look like that because we do have the analog speedometer in the tachometer on on each side of a 4.5 inch uh, little display in the middle but to me you know me i don't care uh, if we don't have a full digital gauge cluster everything you want digital is going on in the infotainment screen anyway so you have what's important in this center display you can change the um, information in the middle to have whatever you want all the important features and you have a physical tachometer and speedometer right next to on both sides of the small display in the middle totally fine for me moving further down here and have a look at this wood insert not sure if this is uh proper wood or if it's just a vinyl 
probably just a vinyl for $30,000. I'm not sure they would put proper wood in here, but it definitely feels and looks like it. And I could be wrong, it could be real wood. Then we have this silver trim that I also like in combination with this wood trim. Let's turn the fan down a little bit so you can hear me better probably. And you have these vents, big, easy, adjustable vents with some nice styling to the lower section in contrast to this very smooth top section. Then you have these ridges in the lower section of the, of the vents. And you, some might think that that's not important to have differentiated design and trims and textures onto the interior features, but that's what I prefer. I like it when you see that the designers had some passion for what they were doing in creating different uh, textures like we have here in the K5. And moving further down, you have all the controls for the uh, climate control settings, super easy to use. You have the dial for the uh, temperature, you have two different buttons for the uh, fan speed and all the other climate uh, buttons are right next to the fan speeds as well. Super intuitive and you don't have to look it up in a manual how to use the climate control. Further down, you do have two USB ports right here and a 12 volt cigarette out with a bit of a storage compartment here. This is not the wireless charging pad that you have right here. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Then you have the gear shifter, which looks <laughs> super interesting as well. Kia is just doing some very unique designs right now. You have a cylinder, then you have a button on the side of the cylinder, and that's how you switch uh, gears. Now when we reverse, we do have a pretty nice looking, um, higher contrast than cars that cost twice as much as this, this reverse camera. A straight down camera in the back and you have the more panoramic view. And honestly, you don't really need anything else than that in a, a sedan like this because you're not gonna take this off road. So you don't need to have 42 cameras on the car. Let's put it back into park and move down to these buttons. You have the parking bu button here and the auto hold. And in between the settings for the heated and cooled seats, you do have the drive mode. So you do have smart, normal, sport and custom. As you know, I like to keep it in sport because this is probably a very, very comfortable car. This is what I'm talking about again with the features for this car, $30,500 and you get cooled and heated seats for both the passenger and the driver. I can tell you that now when it's, how hot is it? It's 91 degrees out, not a cloud on the sky. So having cooled seats is very appreciated in here at the moment. And to the right side of the gear shifter, you do have two cup holders. Here is the wireless charging. I do believe that this is the wireless charging. It has this flap to it. So you can slide your phone in there and it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. And you also have this indicator light that shows when the phone is actually charging. You know, if you have a case sometimes and you have a, th a thicker case, sometimes it's kind of laggy to get it to charge. So it's good to see if it's actually charging or if you need to take the case off your phone. Further back, we do have this um, armrest right here with another regular USB port. And the storage here is pretty decent, normal size for this type of vehicle, I would say. Moving on to the steering wheel here, it feels nice. It looks nice as well. It feels like the designers put in some effort to making this, uh, the housing and the outline trim for the buttons feel a little bit more dynamic by having different thicknesses in it. And then you have the same trim that you have here, this uh, silver trim coming back in the uh, third spoke down here, looking nice. Again, Kia is just killing it when it comes to designs and value for what you're paying for their cars. On the right side of the spoke, you do have the controls for the uh, lane assist. You have the pages for the uh, small little 4.5 uh, inch display, cruise control settings. And to the left side, you do have the voice commands and the settings for whatever music radio you want to listen to. On the left side of the steering wheel, you do have another vent looking very similar to the one we have over there. And you have the buttons for traction control. And you can also pop the trunk with a button down here. Moving up top and you have a, this is not a standard size sunroof. This is a lot bigger than that. So I would say that this is actually a panoramic sunroof. However, I don't want to get roasted and toasted in here. So I'm going to keep this closed, but it is a very cool feature again for the price point that you're, that you're paying. This is just incredible that you get stuff like this and cooled seats for your money. And looking at the seats here, honestly, these look pretty sporty to me, even though it's not really a sports sedan, this thing is not the quickest thing in the world, but you do have some nice bolstering on the sides. The thing is, I'm, I like cars like this, where you pay a reasonable price but you still get all the features you want and some additional features added to that. 
it just shows Kia's uh, mission to bring you very high quality cars for a very good deal. Last but not least in the front seat, let's have a look at the glove box here. And it is a pretty decent size for this type of vehicle. We forgot one thing. We need to talk about the doors before we jump into the back seat. The doors styling of it looks nice. It has a smaller compartment in the lower section nice integration of the uh, speakers because it follows the overall shape of this design and then you have this little shark fin you can rest your hand here without it falling off or you could also grab this and just close the door if you don't feel like grabbing it all the way back here small little design detail that i haven't really seen in any other car and it looks beautiful as well so let's have a look at the back seat because i'm interested in this this would be my driving position i'm very comfortable here i'm six one so let's jump back and see if i can fit behind my own driving position okay guys jumping into the back seat and you can see that we still have a, a bit of a shark fin design going on in the uh, passenger doors as well that we have in the front end very nice finish of these pockets that you have in the seats in front of you. They don't stretch really well, but you can fit a sketchbook for sure in there and a couple of markers, definitely. Down here, you do have two USB ports and you also have some very small vents. And right now it's blowing cool air from the AC controls that you have in the uh, front seats. You don't have a separated climate zone back here, but to me, that's totally fine. Up top, you do have a little bit of a LED light and a handle up here. In the middle armrest, you can fold that down and boom, you instantly have two cup holders. All righty guys, setting off in the 2023 Kia K5EX. I want to emphasize, this is a $30,500 $30, car. And not only do you get some cool interior features with that, because under the hood you have a 1.6 liter inline four turbocharged, 181 horsepower, uh, 195 pound, pound feet of torque, and you have an eight speed automatic. So it's not a CVT in this thing. And it, it's actually pretty fast. I mean, for what it is, that, that's the first time I, I really like half stepped on it and it feels lively. Zero to 60 is like 7.6 seconds. So it's not a fast car by any means by today's standard. But is it fun to drive? I honestly think this is probably very fun to drive when you have the right roads. So it's a, to me like $30,000 $500 for all this with all the features that we talked about in the interior the cooled seats the infotainment screen the 10.2 inf inch infotainment screen and these tr different trim and the design in here it just feels like I don't I don't know what it competes with like Honda Accord maybe but I would probably go with the Kia K5 just because of the design however I do like the new Accord design as well I'm just not so sure about the pricing there and what you get for the price when it comes to Hondas. So I have it in sport now. And uh, taking a corner here, floor it. There we go, turbo kicking in there. <laughs> very, very nice, very nice car. And I love that Kia is still, I mean, just making sedans to begin with. That's just a huge, accomplishment for Kia to keep this thing in production. I'm not sure what the uh, the the next is going to be if they're going to make another Kia K5. I really hope so because this is a rather popular sedan and I do think there is a market for this car still. People who like don't want to sit too high up, want to have a lower center of gravity, a fun car to drive but don't want to overpay and still have some cool features and a good looking design. I think this is the car for them. And I'm so glad that we have an eight-speed automatic. I just, I can't deal with CVTs. They just feel like they're just pulling and pushing and pulling and never get into the next gear. It's just an annoying transmission, at least for me. That's what I think about CVTs. I definitely prefer to have an eight-speed automatic. And this also, eight-speed compared to CVT, feels a little bit more high-end in my opinion. What a fantastic car this is. Great looking car, has the, proper performance that you need for for this price range not everybody wants a sedan that goes zero to 16 in two seconds and i remember when kia was introduced in the us 
I do believe that they had a marketing campaign where if you bought a higher priced Kia, they would throw in a Kia Rio for you. I could be wrong on that, but I think they took that risk and it definitely panned out for them because Kia has, I don't know what they've done, they just transformed into this almost premium brand these days with the Telluride and the new Sportage. Just great looking cars and great value for what you're paying overall. Huge thanks to Foundation Kia here in Denver for providing this fun K5 for me to review for you guys today. If you're interested in this or their entire inventory, I'm gonna link that down in the description. And thank you, as always, for watching. I really appreciate you. If you enjoy this type of videos, make sure you hit the like button, it just takes half a second, and subscribe to the channel if you want to, and I will see you in the next video.